Hi, this is Adam Palchowitz with Coral Clarity, and today we're going to discuss the behavioral redirection form. This form is available on the Coral Clarity website. So what is the purpose of this form? Well, assuming we have good, clear guidelines of what students are expected to do in our classroom, we need to redirect them when they are not following the guidelines. Now, the first time they don't follow a guideline, we give them a warning. And we want to be clear and positive. We want to be friendly. We don't want them to think that we're angry with them. Because if we do that, we are um, treating it like it they are breaking a rule instead of not following a guideline. So the key is that we are um, really trying to encourage them to follow the guidelines that we have. After they don't follow a guideline one time in class, we need to move to something a little bit more substantial. And that's when this form comes into play. So you can see here, if you have a student who has chosen to not follow two guidelines or, or follow the same guideline two times in one day, they fill out part one. Well, what's part one? Well, if you choose to not follow the guidelines, please check next to the guidelines that you didn't follow. So it's very simple. Now in my class, I use follow directions the first time they're given, raise your hand and wait to be acknowledged before you speak, be in your assigned seat with all prepared choir materials out before the bell rings. Only specified choir materials may be accessible during class unless uh, specific uh, permission has been granted. And this includes cell phones. And the last thing, water is the only beverage or food permitted. This includes gum. So they fill that out and they sign it and they date it. So we know the date that this occurred and that, and that they are acknowledging what they did did not do, what guidelines they didn't follow. So I've handed this to them after the warning. Now beyond that, if they do that again, if they there are three times that they don't follow the guideline, they've already received this form, I've already handed it to them. So then we go to part two. What they need to do is they've already filled out part one and signed it. Please write out the guideline or each guideline that you did not follow in class today. Next, explain how you go about making better behavioral choices for future classes. So we're really just asking them not only to acknowledge what they didn't follow, but a little bit of thought that goes into what they need to do better. Again, we're trying to help them to improve. We created guidelines to help our, uh, our rehearsal function better. It's not to punish them. It's to help them. So this is their opportunity to help themselves. Now, the fourth time they don't follow it, I ask them to fill out part one, part two, and part three, which is we ask their parents to sign it. Now, what I suggest is rather than have their parents sign it here, I suggest that they hand it in to you in class, and then you scan it and send it to the parents. That way their parents see that the student is acknowledging what they did not follow. They signed it and they discussed what they can do differently or do better moving forward. And that their parents now see from us, the teacher, that we've done our part to help the student. Now beyond this, if after filling out part one, two, and three, a student does not follow the guidelines five times, five times, then I would suggest after the parents fill out the form, we send this to administration. Now, I wrote as part of a referral, but maybe it's part of a discussion of some sort. <clears throat> what we're basically looking for is administrative support. And when they see a form like this, they see that it was well thought out that we've handled the situation appropriately, that we have clear guidelines, and that we have a way to help our students to become better in the rehearsal. Um, so I believe that when an administrator sees something like this, they will know that we're doing our part 
and we're not just bringing um, any random student to them because we don't want to be doing that. We want to involve administration as little as possible. Now, um, I hope this form is helpful and it's available uh, on the Coral Clarity website you, or just uh, click the link uh, below and you can find it. It's also editable, so you could change the rules, the, the, change the guidelines to anything you want them to be.